That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Space exploration used to be the domain of two of the strongest governments, like the United States and Russia. However, for the last two decades, the battle of space leadership has been between the two wealthiest men in the world, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. According to Forbes, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX and the current CEO of Tesla, is the wealthiest man in the world. On the other hand, Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin and Amazon's founder, got the second spot. SpaceX and Blue Origin both successfully broke through technological barriers to reach space. In this video, we'll learn more about these two companies' rivalry for space dominance, their missions, and most importantly, who is gaining the first spot. And if you want to know more about the space battle of SpaceX and Blue Origin, their similarities and differences, make sure to stay with us until the end of this video. In 2000, Jeff Bezos, the founder and former CEO of Amazon, founded Blue Origin to make space travel more affordable and accessible. Also, its mission was to preserve Earth's resources by transferring millions of humans to live and work in space. To lower the expensive cost of space flight, Blue Origin started to develop reusable rockets with hopes of reducing the overall cost. The original single launch system, which had been in use for years, was costly and hindered mass space travel. The company's existence for the first 15 years was kept private while Jeff Bezos and his team developed their technologies. After long years of working hard, the company emerged from the shadows with 22 successful consecutive missions. Although the company started at a slow pace and could only manage to reach the edge of space, it planned to launch rockets eventually and explore distant regions. On the other hand, in 2002, SpaceX was founded by Elon Musk, who is one of the most prominent men in the technology industry. He made a name for himself and became the face of various technological companies, including PayPal, Tesla, and SpaceX. Musk, with the same mission as Bezos, created SpaceX to make space travel more affordable through innovations such as the use of reusable rockets. But unlike Bezos, Musk has no plans of hiding his goals to take over Mars and make the world's first reusable spaceship. At this point, SpaceX has become a significant player in commercial space activity. Their launch capabilities were so consistent that they successfully broke a record in 2021 with 31 launches, most of which were in support of the company's Starlink satellite program, an initiative aimed to provide internet to places with little connectivity. After 15 years of being almost kept from the public eye, Blue Origins launched its first rocket from Texas on April 29, 2015. It was named the New Shepard rocket, after the first American to fly to space, Alan Shepard Jr. The flight reached an altitude of 307,000 feet, but was unsuccessful because of one major hitch. The rocket's propulsion system failed after it lost pressure in the hydraulic system, which wouldn't have been considered a failure as rockets didn't have recoverable propulsion systems then. However, with the plan to make reusable rockets, losing part of their rocket was different from how things were supposed to go. While for SpaceX's first launch, it took them way shorter time than Blue Origin. In fact, it only took them four years to carry out its first test flight for Falcon 1, which took place on March 24, 2006. Falcon 1 was named after the spaceship in Star Wars. However, it wasn't a success because of a fuel leak. But following the failure in 2006, the spacecraft was finally sent into orbit in 2008, which made this successful flight serve as proof of SpaceX's flight capabilities. Falcon 1 was immediately retired to make way for the company's true workhorse, the Falcon 9. The Falcon 9 had its first successful launch in June 2010 from Cape Canaveral in Florida. The rocket's development was partly funded by a $1.6 billion contract from NASA with the intent of flying robotic cargo missions to the International Space Station. Since its first successful flight, 
SpaceX has flown 85 missions, making it a prominent player in modern spaceflight and the most ever for a U.S. rocket in operation. So, as we mentioned, these two companies' mission is both about successfully creating reusable rockets. For Blue Origin, after experiencing a technical issue during their first test flight, it didn't take long for them to recover from the first flight's failure. In fact, they managed to successfully run another trial in which the rocket launched and landed back on the ground intact just before 2015 ended. SpaceX is popular for its reusable Dragon 9 rockets, but Blue Origin was the first to be able to break that record. And less than a month after Blue Origin achieved this accomplishment, SpaceX recovered its Falcon 9 rocket's first stage. Both of the companies realized that the goal of making spaceflight cheaper and more reliable was by using booster rockets for multiple flights. Until this point, Blue Origin had given its primary focus on suborbital flights. However, the company's ambitions grew, and it developed a lunar lander in 2019. The lunar lander displayed the Blue Moon spacecraft's full-scale model, which aims to be used for uncrewed missions to the Moon's surface and is set to be ready by 2024. Meanwhile, in 2020, the U.S. government awarded a $579 million contract to Blue Origin to develop a landing system for people on the Moon. But the role of the lander for the next generation of human spaceflights will be handled for NASA by SpaceX and not Blue Origin. As for SpaceX, following the termination of the U.S. Space Shuttle program in 2011, the country could not launch astronauts from American land. With that, all of the crew members of the Soyuz spacecraft were launched from Russia. But later on, NASA began to focus on developing technology that would return the capability to launch from U.S. soil again. NASA achieved this goal in 2020 through the Demo-2 flight. The flight took place on May 30, 2020, and transported astronauts Douglas Hurley and Robert Benkin to the ISS. Back then, SpaceX launched several missions to the ISS, including some that carried bigger number crews. SpaceX's reusable rocket space has advanced through partnering with NASA. Not only have they succeeded in manufacturing the equipment, but they also regularly use it to advance human spaceflight in outer space. Hey, if you're liking this video so far, you can click like and subscribe to this channel. On July 20, 2021, Blue Origin had its first crewed mission into space using its new Shepard rocket and spaceflight system. The flight lasted approximately 10 minutes and crossed the Kármán line. Bezos was part of a four-member crew along with his brother Mark Bezos, Oliver Damon, and Wally Funk after the unnamed auction winner, which was later revealed to have been Justin's son, dropped out due to a scheduling conflict. Following the first, the subsequent missions were sent over one after the other. The second and third crewed missions of New Shepard were sent in October and December 2021, respectively, while the fourth crewed flight was sent in March 2022. Then, New Shepard completed its fifth crewed mission launch after the delayed voyage the previous month on June 4, 2022. And finally, the sixth crewed flight took place on August 4, 2022. And for the most recent, Blue Origin had an uncrewed space mission on September 12, 2022. Unfortunately, it wasn't a success, as it suffered an anomaly, although it managed to recover its capsule successfully. And as for SpaceX, it has been continuing to accomplish greater things. Not only the first private company to send humans to the ISS, but also the most spacecraft launched into space on just a single mission, Having 143 satellites, they were also the first to reuse and reflight a crewed space capsule, the first to reuse a booster launch for a national security mission, and the first orbital launch of an all private crew. And all these firsts happened in the year 2021. And as for the latest, just on October 20th, 2022, they had the highest number of launches of a single rocket type in a calendar year for Falcon 9 which had 48 launches. Both companies have proven how formidable they are at achieving their goals, getting people off the ground and returning them safely to Earth. 
That is the main deciding point for the success of a space program. In the end, however, the tough competition between the two companies and their rivalry has made space travel more affordable and frequent. All these things considered, the real winners would be all of us. But how about you? Have you considered going to outer space for a trip? Which of these two companies would you prefer to take for a trip of a lifetime? SpaceX or Blue Origin? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.